Colleagues, today I rise in opposition to House Bill 4205. In the city of Dearborn, specifically in the South End, the asthma rate is three to four times that the rest of the state of Michigan. You can drive down the neighborhoods and smell the elevated sulfur levels, and by the time you leave, your car will be covered in soot. I invite you all to visit Salina Elementary School, which is located within a thousand feet from the steel factories and power plants, where children are sitting in the classroom learning about the world as they're actively being poisoned. I invite you to visit the homes of my residents who have to change their air filters monthly because of the concentration of the emissions. It is the home to steel slags which produce blooms of smog filled with manganese, grounds with elevated levels of arsenic, and areas of non-attainment for sulfur dioxide. And that is the case with the current regulatory environment, one that already provides excessive leniency to corporations who are polluting our air at the expense of our residents. This bill would prohibit state agencies from enacting anything stricter than the federal standards, diminishing what little authority we currently have. This bill implemented means that down the line, the asthma rate in my district in southeast Michigan, which is known as the epicenter of the asthma burden, will continue to climb. That means rising health care costs. That means furthering the environmental injustices already ongoing. That means children who are not afforded the opportunity to clean air or clean land or clean water because of the zip code that they were born in. Like each of you, I came to this legislature to roll up my sleeves and get to work, not cede over control to the federal government. We were elected to do a job, not hand over our duties to those who are thousands of miles away sitting behind a desk in Washington, D.C. And so I strongly urge the chamber to vote no and to work together. Thank you.